Alright man, the soldier of love here, Max Julien, it's here. Where's the Bob? Where's Bob? Alright, uh, my uh, fancy uh, Sony cam got fucked. Sorry. I just spent an hour with the nice lady from overseas, man, to talking to her how to fix this stuff. In Babylon, it was pouring the bad vibes on me, but I overcome it. And I decided to do retake on this show. It was not recorded. Okay, that's my fish. Uh, usually for this dish. I'm making here, it's called round down fish, it's fish stew from Jamaica, but I'm not gonna make stew, I'm gonna make to the sauce inspired by this stew, so, and a saucepan, we got two onions, four cloves of garlic, uh, two fresh tomato chopped, uh, and half a jalapeno de-rib, de-seeded, a little bit chicken stock, lots of coconut milk. I'm still trying to crack that baby up, you know, and open up. I use my head. I got big Polish melon and it's hard. Kind of empty, I don't know. But I still can. So I use the can uh, milk and I cook that for approximately 45 minutes, then translute it with the butter first, uh, saute it for a second, and the coconut milk and a little bit of chicken stock. So it's ready to go to my machine. Now, okay, with the fish, I add a little bit really cool pineapple pepper, spicy sauce, a little bit sea salt, and coconut milk, and let it marinate. In the meantime, I got this uh, delicious uh, hooch. It was in a jar. It was in a jar. Sits there for maybe the last three months, and it was some hooch. Hooch means, you know, rum, maybe vodka, maybe brandy, I don't remember, that was so flying high when I made it. And I put lots of pineapples and let it sit for the last 2-3 months, all the flavors of pineapple get into the my hooch. So I add it to my sauce and reduce and cook off the alcohol. And I chopped up a few uh, pieces of the hooched up pineapple so it's gonna be nice and delicious all right fridge goes uh fridge goes i mean fish goes in the refrigerator this bullshit goes here i had some crack black no life with the crack when you addicted to the crack you don't smoke it you don't uh Chew that, you just crack it to your dish and it's make it's nice and spicy. Crack black pepper every day. So it's good for you. So I reduce the coconut milk with my all ingredients for our 45 minutes. So it's all cooked down and nice and soft stage. So we go into get the machina to the work. My delicious stew, it's vaporizing deliciously, so I'm gonna add some more Detroit River water with all the minerals and uh, vitamins in it, so we revitalize. You can't get the food like in Detroit, nowhere in the world like in Detroit. We got Detroit to River water, man. This stuff, nobody else have that, it's like a gold. Actually, the Detroit River it's getting cleaner and cleaner and been pretty clean for the last decade or so. So please, let's go keep your ni nature nice and uh, not destroy. So go to go in. Last stages of the baby. I'm gonna finish uh, re-season and check for seasoning potatoes. Getting ready to be rocked out and soft. I got three very large potatoes in it so I'm gonna smash one up so I don't have to add any flour to thicken it up so if you don't add the flour to the goat in the first stage you can make the uh, gluten free alright so my sauce for round down fish looks like that round down fish means you cook the mackerel or salmon or whatever cut inside of their sauce ingredients so it's running down of the bones it's cooked uh, it's so soft 
it's called round down the fish stew man like I said I'm gonna do as a sauce for my fish which I'm going to grill let's go bring up the big boy right here big boy come to Metal Chef Mad Max. Okay, we got my machina. Please be careful when the handling very hot ingredients. I am professionally trained. All right. Where's all my stuff for machina? They in the dishwasher. So pardon me for a second, my friends. All right. Quietly, I remove the parts of the machine and like a ninja sneak out to do some damages. Okay, machine that's ready to rock and roll. No, I'm missing one more component with the hot stuff. I really need to be careful, don't uh, burn myself, don't burn nobody. and um, garlicky, a little bit spicy from the peppers, no double dipping to the sink. All right, everything goes in a pod, everything goes in a pod. And we go to rock you out, we go in to rock you out, okay. Fire the hose, then ball! Yeah, bullshit. You need electricity, Max. You know what the fuck? That's uh, what the hell is going on? Uh, excuse me. Boop. No, still nothing. Aha, uh -huh, because it's not to the safety, okay? Nothing? Don't come knocking, okay? Don't open prematurely because everything goes bloop, and you got a little bit burns on your face and hands and Maybe will be not that good. All right, transferring back to saucepan, and everything looks nice and delicious. Again, the base of machina goes, and the top of the refrigerator. Let's go check for seasoning. Pinches of just sea salt and maybe a touch of spiciness. That's gonna be rock and roll and sauce, man. Let's go steer that up, steer that up, and it's ready to rock. All right, let's go show you everything. When I will saute the, off the fish or grill the fish or whatever, I will uh, smoke up with the ganjaman fish. Whatever I'm gonna do the cooking technique, it's gonna be done and delicious sauce goes on the top of it. The stew is getting ready. I'm gonna mash it up one of the potatoes in it. I'm gonna use one of my handy tools to create kind of the sauce. I'm not gonna mess up any meat with that. And I'm keeping everything 
and I said I'm keeping everything in a pot. Don't piss me off. All right. Just in the corner where the potato was mashed by one of the potatoes, I'm just gonna do like this. I think I cracked up some bones from the damn goat. The goat is dead and still giving me havoc. Alright, let's go check for seafood. Man. Very mild. Just need a few drops of the salt. And I think I need a little bit spice. So I'm using a little bit of that really spicy pepper I got. I'm gonna chop it up really fine so it goes undetected to my <laughs> stick to the walls, man. That's uh, okay. Well, that's alright because I'll scoop you as to the think anyway and if you like you can finish with the, some fresh parsley or coriander I think I'm gonna use uh, two just bring up the flavor I'm gonna get uh, A little bit of uh, lemon juice on it to wake up the ghost of the island of Jamaica. So when the buccaneers used to go, <sighs> I will put a few drops in my round down fish sauce too. And let's go house everything. Looking now, let's go twirl that around. Let's go twirl that baby around. And that's what she wrote. Okay, I got this thing going for you, my friend. Jamaican dish is delicious, a little bit spicy, a little bit tropical, a little bit coconutty. The both recipes use the coconut milk. Let's go check it out. That's my round down inspired uh, sauce for the fish, and that's goat bubbling away looks delicious okay keep it rock and roll and keep on ragging keep on listen to good music not ragging play some reggae music I love you people thank you for supporting me I love you I'm shaking from excitement when I find out you watching my video so now I'm I love you guys please watch me man oh man mm -hmm. chef metal Max, thank you again. Love ya, and be good to each other. Booya! Shake it! The damn bullshit button.